Hello, we are the Castle Park High School student car researcher team, and our question was, to what extent do stigmas revolving around computer science limit students' participation? This table shows Castle Park's demographic data, with, and on the left is the official state data, and on the right is the data collected from our survey. And as you can see, the only significant differences in the two are in Latino and two more racist groups, which, are mo which is most likely due to students registered as Latino choosing the two or more races options. Here's some more uh, demographic data. Um, the responses were about half and half for male and female, and ninth graders were the ones who responded the most at 52%. Here are the, percentage, the percentages of students who responded uh, to the question, have you ever taken computer science? And as you can see, the 12, uh, for 12th graders, it is a much higher percentage, but we did not ask when they took this class, whether that be in middle school or in high school. And then this clearly shows that a, a lot smaller percent than half actually takes it. This is the enrollment data from our actual school for computer science, which is very low, around 2% for each. This graph shows what some people think about computer science. The most popular responses would be that computer science is interesting or somewhat interesting. This second graph shows why some students have not participated in computer science, and the most common answer would be lack of interest or not having time. This graph shows some of the words students associate with computer science, such as boring, difficult, or fun. We also collected some qualitative data through the two re free response questions. Why or why not do you think computer science is important and do you think students should take a computer science course? And we found that when analyzing the, the stigmas, there were six similar themes surrounding it. People said, I'm not interested or it seemed that interesting. Some said it's boring and I would take it if it were more fun. Some said it's whack and because I'm not a nerd. Some said it seems like a lot of work and others would take it if it were less difficult. And some also said that, that they should make it fun and easy, while others said, I, I don't know what it has to offer. There also has problems with scheduling, where it says, I had to take other elective classes, and if I, and if I hadn't taken those, I, I could have probably gave a try. We also analyzed our free response question, what would it take for you to join computer science? and we found these themes. Some students are simply not interested in the class. Others wish the class would be easier. Some students wanted it to be more fun and interesting. Some needed a free period class for computer science. Others have specific teaching approaches they would like to see in class, such as editing a picture, videos, creating a game, in groups or alone. Students mention incentives such as money and food. Students needed more background knowledge on the topic. And lastly, some students simply didn't know what it would take to join CS. Next, I will go over the recommendations and what we can do to target the lack of participation in computer science uh, based on our data. So from our data, we recommend that we should include the AP Computer Science Course A in the math category on the course request form we use to plan our schedule. And we should also include the AP Computer Science Principles and Computer Science Discoveries class in the science category. Uh, we should also expose um, the students to computer science earlier, and this can be as early as freshman year. And we could explain to the freshmen what computer science is through their courses, so during class time, as well as during orientation through orientation activities. And we can also have our computer science teacher go around and explain what computer science is to the students. We can also encourage teachers and counselors to know more about computer science and recommend. So we need to give them more ways to learn what computer science is and they should advertise computer science classes more and have 
recruit, recruitment fairs. And they can also have papers to pass out in class about what it is and its benefits and who to go to to learn more about it and add it to their schedule. And they also incentivize teachers to do the computer science education activities that the computer science teacher recommends. And lastly, we can show students that computer science class, classes are social or collaborative. And we can do this by sharing photos or videos of computer science students working together. And we can also invite other students to work with other students to create a computer science product. And this can be hour of code or computer science demonstration. And that concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time.